Greetings, this is the Instrument Sidekick video for the trombone, page 13, horn angle, page 13, horn angle. So, you have to hold the trombone up, okay? Uh, it's going to be a little work on your left arm, because your left arm has to hold that trombone up, okay? The audience is way in front of you, okay? And you're a loud instrument, so chances are you're going to be behind uh, other rows of instruments when you're in a band okay there's going to be a row of flutes or clarinets way up in the front and uh a little bit louder instruments in the next row and then you're going to probably be in the farthest back row all right because you're pretty loud um so you have to get that up there though instead of hanging it down so you need to hold it nice and up and straight out okay the idea of getting the sound out of this bell over the people in front of you okay now when you hold it up because of that, sometimes in a band rehearsal, sometimes we're kind of crowded on a stage or something like that. And you have to keep in mind that uh, you don't want to hit the head of the people in front of you. So if there are people right in front, instead of having it all the way up, which would be nice and the better thing, uh, you're going to have it angled a little down, okay? You're going to then aim your slide so your slide is going just underneath their seat, Okay, uh, so high enough that you're not hitting the ground, uh, but low enough that you're not hitting the back of their chair or anything like that. Okay, because you do not want to hit people in the back of the head. This is not okay or ever okay. You can hurt people by hitting them in the back of the head, okay? Uh, very seriously. So please, please, never, ever, ever do that, okay? Or even if you didn't hit them right in the back, you could scrape across and cut their ear or their cheek or something with the uh, water key here or something. And it's just, it's, it's not good. Make sure you're not near other people's heads when you're playing, okay? Now, if there is room, and I've successfully got uh, whatever rows of people in front of you, you're lucky and there happen doesn't have to be anyone right in front of you, then hold it straight up, okay? Not too high up, but up and out, okay? So this is good. This is also good and sometimes more necessary based on uh, the people on the, the stage. This is never good, okay? You're not playing to the ground, and if you're angled all the way down, if you've let your arm just totally relax down, you're going to end up uh, hitting your slide on the ground, and that's no good either, all right? Uh, never lean forward and rest your elbows on your knees, okay? That is an awful horn angle and not good posture, okay? Posture is how you sit, okay? You should always be sitting on the edge of your seat, so front edge of the seat okay so don't sit back there you want to sit in the front edge of the seat all right both feet flat on the floor back straight what i tell people is imagine there is a string coming down right from the center of your head and someone's holding that string up okay so you pull yourself up so your back is nice and straight you should be leaned forward just a little and then have that horn angle okay um so never lean all the way down that won't be good for playing that won't give you good airflow and you're not going to be able to do the things you need to to change the pitches on the trombone so if you're going to sound good you're going to need your back nice and straight because that also makes it so your uh, lungs are going to be able to hold the most air and you'll be able to press from down here like you're supposed to to get a good sound all right so remember all that and <laughs> Keep enjoying doing that. All right. And may the force be with you.